We know that gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. That means the correct option is F alpha m1 into m2 upon d square. Let us move on to the next question. The value of acceleration due to gravity at a height h from the ground is given by. We know that small g is nothing but capital G capital M upon r plus h the whole square. So, this is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question, the value of g dashed as the depth from the surface increases. We know that from the surface of the earth if we go up or we go down the value of g obviously will decrease. So, correct answer is decreases. Next question, the weight of a body gradually decreases from. Now, we know that at the poles the value of small g is maximum. So, weight will also be maximum and at the equator it is minimum. That means, the weight will decrease from the poles to the equator. Why? Because at the poles r is less, so g is more and at the equator r is more, so g is less. Next question, a body of mass 1 kg is attracted by the earth by a force which is equal to. Now, f is equal to m into g, right? f is equal to m into g, m is 1 small g is approximately 9.8. So, 9.8 into 1 becomes 9.8. So, correct answer is 9.8 Newton as simple as that. Next question, the gravitational potential energy. Now, this particular question we have already solved in escape velocity and we have the formula from escape velocity that is P e is nothing but minus g m m. There we have seen minus g m m upon r. Here we have r plus h that means if at all the height increases just we have to add the value of h and that is it. Next question, which of the following is not an example of a free fall? Now, moon revolving around the earth. Now, we know that in a free fall there is only one force that is gravitational force and there is no air resistance. Now, moon when it revolves around the earth, it is falling freely around the earth in the presence of vacuum that means there is no air resistance that means this is a free fall. Earth revolving around the sun takes place in vacuum, this is a free fall parachute jumping. Whenever somebody jumps in a parachute, we know that because of the air resistance, it comes down slowly. That means, this is not an example of a free fall. That means, this answer is the correct answer. Let us move on to the next question. The force of gravitation between two bodies having irregular shape is taken by the distance between their center of mass because we know that the entire mass of an object is assumed to be concentrated at the center which is called as the center of mass.